Good morning everyone, hope you're all feeling fantastic. Welcome back the Gibson fam. Now, hope you're all feeling great, like I just said, I'm feeling awesome. Um, I just want to say before I do part two on the Land Rover build, that's right, part two is already coming out. It's, uh, by the time I film this, edit it, tomorrow night I reckon, Monday night it's coming out, so, I mean to you guys it's just going to pop up, but anyway. Um, yeah, so today is the actual day where we're going to start repairing this vehicle. I'm going to run you down on what's going to go on today. I'll let you hear it run as well. Just, I come today to start stripping, but before I do that, I'm just going to clear out this area, get some tables set up, clear out the back a bit, and um, yeah, so basically when I get all the parts off, I can at least label them or set them up nicely, neatly, so when I do put it back together, I'm not running around looking for the parts, so... So, I just had a running because I've strained up the car. Half the top of the engine is dismantled onto tables. You can't move the car unless obviously you've got it neutral or whatever, but I'd rather strain it up under its own steam and make life as easy as it can be. So, basically, first step today, I'm either, or actually I am, I'm going to clear some of these tables, uh, make them look neat, get the tools that I'm going to need out, put them aside or whatnot, and yeah, so this hood, hood? Yeah, that's what's, yeah, hood, it's coming off. I'm going to set that aside. I've always wanted to take a hood off a car. Um, it's just going to make it a lot easier to work on. It's going to make its life so much easier because getting in there, because it's a four-wheel drive, it's up higher, so if we need to step on a stool, we're not going to be smashing our heads on this in the middle of trying to undo the head on the um, engine. And by then, we probably would be a little bit moody and angry because things probably aren't undone. So, as long as it's all cleared out, it's easier for us. And that's what I'm all here for. I've never done it before, but I've definitely seen a lot of videos about it. And um, I knew some sort of knowledge on how to do it. It's basically just taking off all this. <laughs> uh, Got to disconnect the battery. And I'll start stripping that very soon. Let's go over to the back. And I'm just going to clear out this area a bit. Either I can put tools here or parts or anything. Let's just clear it out. I'll basically move the car over and centered, centered it a lot more in the shed. So I can walk around it and not have to stop here and go back the other way. So um, I reckon I'm going to let you guys hear the um, engine. And yeah, go from there because you guys haven't heard it yet. And I'll show you how nicely it runs. I'll let you guys hear it run. This is actually going to be the last time it's going to run until I fix up the head gaskets and every other seal that I uh, get to on along the journey. So, see if it even starts, mate. It's got a bit of whistling, I think that's from uh, the belts. Um, you see a lot of oil leaks around the head gaskets and that, so either way it's got to be changed. But yeah, as you see, it runs brilliant. There's no piston underneath, like popping out the back end or anything like that. There's no knocking at all. And you can see from here, I mean, oh, you probably won't be able to see it. It's a lot easier to see in person, but you get a lot of fumes coming out of the uh, cooler. So that can determine your head gasket's basically shot, so the piston, like, inside the head where the piston is and that. That gas gets shot in a way where it can push pressure and exhaust fumes into your coolant. That's how you can get, get it coming out of there. So if you dip your finger in that water and smell it, it smells like fumes. You're a little red for yes. It's not blowing smoke out the back, so that could also mean that's just the belts whistling. Might shut her off, but you probably can't even hear me. So yeah, that's basically belts. Obviously, I'll be getting a whole lot of new parts after the new build, so I'm gonna try not keep. Like obviously the belt's ruined, which it did look like it had a few strains on it. Um, it's getting replaced. A few other things will be getting replaced, but first what I've got to do is strip it, set up the engine, how it's supposed to be, no leaks. 
and then go from there with everything else. So I'm hoping it is head gasket. I believe it is. A lot of people have told me it is. A lot of people have told me it's something to do with the radiator. But either way, at the end of the day, it's leaking oil at um, all the gasket seals. So I want to get that fixed. Even if I could fix the problem from overheating with just the um, radiator, I'm not going to want to drive around with oil leaking out of the head gasket area and whatnot and other seals. So either way, I want a clean engine. So yeah, it's going to get done. It's just going to take some time, but that's all right. A lot more videos for you, a lot more content for you guys. And because I love it so much, recording, making videos, and not only that, working on cars. Um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of videos coming out. So I think I'm just going to shush, start getting on the tools, and just start stripping it, send it up, clean up this area, clean up the back area, and just get straight into it so you guys aren't sitting there like, what's this guy talking about? So. Yeah, I reckon we're just going to have to roll on the time lapses and put some cool, cool music on. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so I think I'm just going to put you on time lapse. Now I've got my beautiful girlfriend here to help me today, so, so thanks to her. Straight up. You're the best. And yeah, I think we're just going to set up the time lapse. We're just going to clean up, get it all sorted. Cool. They are definitely lighter than I thought. Oh, I'm just so stoked about that. It's a good memory to have. Now, it's all open, and we can just start from here. We're gonna put those hood bolts that I've uh, nearly lost, nearly forgot about. Gotta put those into a bag of container and put the label on it, because every bolt and that's gonna need a label, because my memory is shocking, so. Do that, and then other than that, we can just start stripping and start from the top, I guess, and start working our way down. So, yeah. Oh, I am so keen. So, so far, that's where we got it to. We've got a lot of the cables, pipes disconnected. Got alternator off, got the uh, AC compressor clutch. Um, the system didn't have any gas in it either, so don't pin me for that, guys. Don't uh, get too upset. Didn't have ga like gas in the system. This car's been sitting here for ages. Well, not here personally, but pers uh, the owner before me. Because I know highly that is highly illegal. So yeah, starting to set everything up. Uh, we've got to add a belt to the list of new parts. I'm not gonna be ordering anything new until we see what the head looks like. From the side, um, like as we get closer and closer, it's starting to look alright. Like it looks like it maybe it's been changed. It's might be the rocker cover, the um, seal in that that's shot because you can see here. Look how bad that is. Look at all that gunk. That is horrible, dude. That's like, that's crazy. Through the side you get a stain. Um, same on this side. But then down by the header when you see through the gap in the exhaust headers, you can see the, um, like the block, it's pretty clean. So fingers crossed that's not the issue. Like it's a bit higher up, who knows. We'll see how it goes. We get um, lower and lower on the dismantling. <clears throat> but yeah, just gonna put the camera down. And keep ripping at it because it's got a couple hours left and hopefully this is enough footage to get this part up. If not, then I'll have to film during the week, next week, and get more footage for you guys. But who knows, I reckon it'll be enough. So cool, let's get back into it and start stripping. Alrighty, so it's been roughly I don't even know, probably an hour or two, probably even close to three hours since I've last recorded. So it's been a big period of time because I just got in the zone and started undoing it all. I'm tired, you probably can see through my face. But, so I'll show you where we are right now. So here we are, we've got 
the um, alternator off, the AC compressor clutch off, the um, air intake off as well. Um, I do need some star heads bolts for the um, times of these bolts here. They're a different set, so I don't have them tools at the moment. So I've got to go Bunnings either or go look for some. I'm sure I've got some somewhere. So that's why I couldn't get to that part, but it's getting late either way. So I'm just going to leave it to how it is. Um, only because there's a lot more to do and I, obviously I don't have that and it's getting late. So that's where it is basically right now. I'm going to end up sh like dismantling most of these things and cleaning them up. Um, that was the gasket that was between the um, air intake and the engine and it is ruined like nothing's falling apart. So I'm going to get a new one of that. Got bolts with labels on them. So yeah, come a long way today. I'm glad we, um, oh I started. Taylor helped as well. Glad we got a start to it. So nearly there, not really, but made a big, big um, dent. So yeah, I think that's just gonna end the video. Gotta get a thumbnail. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to like the video if you did like it. If you haven't subscribed, join the family. We're about to hit, we're not about to, but we're aiming to hit 300 subscribers by the end of the year. So jump on, subscribe, and uh, join the family. Till next time.